Hey, Brandon. Hey, Tina. Let him go, copper. Yes, I know you're there, Victoria. I think he says he's had enough copper. Hey. I think he says he's had enough. Maybe not. You just want somebody to play with you. Cut it out. I don't think they want to play right now. Copper, leave him alone now. They don't want to play right now. They just want to chill out. I, why do you want to bite me? copper that's enough oh you do want to play huh well, copper will take you up on that and you just want to lick my hand all the time my wounded hand I wouldn't be right anymore if I didn't have scratches all over me What do you smell, Clara? Hey, Charlie. Hey, Rick. Doing pretty good here. You just stay where you're at.
it would help in a lot of instances. Sort of a slim crowd here today, but that's okay. I figured I'd do this today while I had a little bit of time and done one in a few days, given everything that's been going on. It's been hard to find the time. You just sit up here and he won't mess with you. I've yet to hear a definite date on when Ozzy and Devin are going to go home. Copper, leave his tail alone. He doesn't want that right now. I'm not rushing anything, but it'd be good to get them settled soon. So hopefully we will know this week. Lily. Stella Jr. Awesome. Says I'm watching Clara right now. fight over my hand. She is. Uh, she's right there. She actually just came and laid down. I think so. It's, uh, Caitlin hasn't been licking my hand <laughs> lately just because I don't see her as often. And when she gets out at PetSmart, she just wants to run around and explore. I, and I don't blame her for that. Okay, break it up. I'm gonna have to get a toy out in a second to Occupy Copper. I think these guys just want to kind of chill out and Copper wants to play, which is the reverse of what's normal. Copper, let him up. Ah. He's about to attack my hand. No. If you want to play, fine.
I don't know when I'm going to do it, but I have to make time to get Copper to an ophthalmologist at some point and get his eye checked out. That's become more difficult due to the current events, but we, we will get it done when time permits. Stumpy, stumpy. Hey, Kimberly. Stumpy, stumpy. You're getting stuff all in your hair because I need to vacuum the floor. You really need a nail trim too, Stumpy, but Stumpy hates to be picked up, so that's a bit of a challenge. Hey, Larry. I don't want you to get kicked in the eye, copper. It's like, no, don't touch me, I'm busy. I don't know that I'll, I stayed up here pretty much all day yesterday. I don't know that I'm gonna do that today, but I will probably let these guys keep their freedom when I leave here. And I will come back this evening and get them all situated. But I think, or I hope, I think and I hope we have reached a point where they can be trusted to run free for a little bit unsupervised. They don't seem to be getting into too much mischief. I left them out while I was going to visit Stella and I've left them out for short periods during the week. You know, if I run out for lunch or something, I'll let them stay out and they've done okay. I'll probably have to unplug my keyboard and mouse though because they have a tendency to jump on my desk and Try to type secret messages. What is it? What are you looking up at me for? What is it, Lily? Look at those daggers. Those things need to be trimmed so bad. But she gets so upset about it. Yeah. Stella Light. They are one and the same. Where are you trying to get my camera? Let's see if I can adjust this a little bit. That's a little better.
Yeah, they have a lot of the same mannerisms too, like the the whippy tail. She's not really doing it right now, but she definitely inherited Stella's whippy tail and they have similar attitudes about certain things. Hey Donna. What are you doing? You just find a spot to lay and that's where you go. Kind of stretched out on the floor so I could pet Lily and she took advantage. Please don't grab me, Copper. Copper thinks he is a little kitten, and he's not. He is very big. Yeah, Luna is doing a lot better. Uh, I told Melanie we need to uh, rearrange some cats and put them in different rooms and all that and let her have some free time to run around the house some because she's been stuck in that room for over a week now. So she deserves a little bit of freedom and the ability to jump on the couch and Victoria is latched onto my tripod. But yeah, maybe we can get her some freedom sometime today if she's not already out. I haven't been home since around 11.30, I guess. Clara. Come here. Come here. I turn the camera and you move away. And then Copper gets jealous because I'm petting Clara. Nobody wants to look at your butt, Copper. <sighs> Victoria, I need to move. Ow! That was my leg. Uh. Oh, sorry, Ozzy. I didn't mean to bonk you in the head. All right, you can come back. This is obviously where you want to be. Surprisingly, Lily is being a bit playful towards Ozzy. I've seen glimmers of this, but not a lot. She does tolerate him a lot better than she has. It's just me. It's just me. She says, I was fine until you touched me. Getting a little glitchy here. Good news is I have a new phone on the way. I probably won't have it until Tuesday. It's supposed to be delivered tomorrow, but there's a signature required, so I'll probably have to sign the little thing they put on the door and leave it. Which two, Lily and uh, 
Victoria or someone else. Ah, yeah, I think she likes Clara. It's the little ones she's not real sure about. <laughs> this is among Devin's favorite thing to do. Same with Victoria. You guys have scratched where I already got scratched and ripped the scab off. I still have battle wounds from trying to put copper in the carrier the other day. He does not like the carrier at all. The lady that rescued him said that she had no problem getting in the, getting him in the carrier, that he went right in for her, but I guess after the trip to the shelter, he said no more of that. Yeah, he's a good cat. He just doesn't think he's as big as he is. He doesn't realize that he can be a little rough at times. He doesn't mean anything by it. He's just... Just doesn't know how big he is. Yeah, Devin, I can usually distinguish, but uh, and he's not quite as big as uh, Ozzy is. Ozzy's, oh, let me turn this the other way. Ozzy is getting to be a big cat. Um, Caitlin is doing okay. I think she's ready to be out of pet smart, but under the circumstances, she's doing okay. I think she's been spoiled with. Uh, treats. There's a little box of treats in there and all you have to do is shake the box and she knows exactly what those are and comes running. It's a piece of paper off the floor. But that's okay. She can be spoiled on treats. She's earned that one.
I sure hope so. I know she wants to get out of there. To go from here. I mean, even you all hear the, the screams of that one. When she uh, gets put in there and the door is closed. But even that is better than being at PetSmart. She's not in the a tiny little cage or anything. She's in one of the bigger, like a double size kennel, but it's still not comparable to what she had here where she could, you know, kind of free roam. But her home will come along, like you said. It's just a matter of time. I've contemplated rewriting her card a little bit. I mean, I, I didn't want to turn anybody off, but I do feel it's best that she's the only cat. And I also wrote on there that she probably doesn't need to go to a home with real young kids. And I, I mean, she would probably be fine. The home she came from, the, the little girl was probably no more than five or six years old, maybe seven. She's not a real little kid, but I guess she did fine there. I mean, they didn't warn me that she had been mean to the kids or anything like that, but given her history, I didn't want to risk anything. So I hope that hasn't been a deterrent to her being adopted. What copper? Ozzy's trying to chew on a leg to the tripod, which is not helpful. Yeah, and I tried to be as best I could. And I mean, it says clearly on the card that she doesn't get along with other cats, and then we put a sign on the inside on the door to her kennel that says not to let her out with any of the other cats up there. I, I made the mistake yesterday. I had her, or last night, I had her out. And uh, one of the other cats needed some water in his dish. And I thought I could be slick and open the, the kennel up and just grab the water dish and close it back really quick. But he escaped and she didn't immediately run and try to pounce on him and attack and all that, but she was definitely aware that he was out, hey Mr. Krabs, and ran over to where he was and she started to swat a little bit. Part of me thinks it's half being playful, but she's just unsure. Uh, this is Devin, and that's Ozzy down here. He just wants to lay. I don't think he's interested in playing right now. <laughs> Copper has this thing where if you're petting him and he doesn't want to be bothered, he just goes, nope, and pushes your hand down. There we go. Oh, excuse me. I have not slept a whole lot the past few days. And I got a call at 12 something last night from the vet. I didn't sleep too well after that. And then I got a call again a couple minutes after seven this morning and I've been up since. So. I'm a little tired. Calvary's finally calmed down and curled up with Ozzy here. I need to keep my hand out of the way. I'm 
Sure looks that way. Yeah, they told me um, when I took her there Friday afternoon that I could call as often as I wanted to and get an update. And they've been really good about calling me multiple times a day, you know, before they do anything or anything like that. But I'm hopeful that my phone does not ring at all today because the plan is to just let her rest and get ready for the abdominal scan tomorrow. She will have a little bit of food in her stomach. I, uh, I took her blanket and put that over her and uh, I carried a couple of cans of her regular food. So hopefully that will encourage her to eat more just by having the food that she's accustomed to getting. But yeah, as soon as I opened up the, the cage and I just kind of pushed the, or I lowered the blanket in front of her nose and her eyes popped open. Oh, we're good right now. I appreciate it. We're just taking it all a day at a time. But I was very happy to see that she had eaten. That's, I mean, I've brought that up every time they've called. I mean, have she eaten? Has she eaten? You know, she hasn't eaten since Wednesday night that we know of. You know, she needs some food and. So that was a big relief to see that she had eaten some food. Oh, we're okay. Um, I told them that <laughs> spare no expense, like the guy in Jurassic Park, whatever she needs, give it to her. She had a hard enough life before she came to live with us. So I'm not, I'm not gonna slack any there. Victoria. I am too right now. Um, I mean, her. Ultimately, uh, what's really going to what it's really going to boil down to is her uh, colon and bladder. Copper, you're like blocking the entire frame. Hopefully the muscle tone will be good enough to sustain her going to the bathroom on her own and all that. Um, they said she's keeping her bladder empty, which is excellent. Of course, she hasn't pooped yet, but I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that she hasn't eaten until today. So there's nothing to poop. But the scan tomorrow, I think, will tell us a whole lot more than we know right now. Okay. She's come this far, so I really hope that looks good. Well, let's try it over here. How about that? That's a little better, huh? <laughs> Copper sees himself. Who is that? I don't, I don't know that cat. Yeah, the, the lady I was talking to down there, she said they, they learn in vet school how, just how tough cats are.
Well, the, the reason there's a rotation is because they're a 24 hour, it's like an ICU type vet. So, you know, they have different vets that come in for different shifts. Victoria, you're not making Lily happy right now. But they seem to all communicate with one another and collaborate on the best approach to everything, which is why the decision was made not to do surgery yesterday, which I, I'm all for that. Collaborate, you know, two heads are better than one type thing. But everybody's been super nice. I couldn't ask for nicer folks. Now Lily's chasing after Clara. But as I say, uh, if you're watching the static camera in the kitchen room, you might not see too much activity. I mean, you might see Lily or Copper or Clara or some of the kittens pop in and out of there, but I think I'm going to uh, I'm going to let them have free reign of the, the big room today. come back later this evening and give them their dinner and put them to bed for the night. Oh. And Victoria has the zoomies at the moment while these two just want to be lazy. But at any rate, I think I'm going to head home for a little while. I've got some chores that need to be handled that I've just neglected to do because honestly I have not had the time. Um, definitely got to get some laundry done if I want anything to wear to work this week. So I will leave it at that for now. Um, I'm not sure how the, the week will go as far as close ups, but if you're in our Facebook group, you will get updates as I get them and I will try my best to keep that as up to date as possible but if you don't see any posts today that's a good thing so don't be alarmed by that um, so hopefully it will be sometime tomorrow before you hear an update at any rate, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Like I said, I just wanted to get one of these in while I had a minute because I don't know when I'll be able to do the next one, but hopefully in the next couple days we'll be able to do it again. So thank you for all the support and everything else you guys have done for us all this time. And we'll keep you updated as needed. So. Thanks everybody, and we'll see you soon.